Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro here, and we've got another Spyderco knife. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what this is, judging by the title and all that stuff, but we have the Spyderco Tenacious. Sorry, that was a little stiff. Really new. Um, first impressions, good. It's a nice, big, solid folder. And I like the fact that it has a liner lock. I'm kind of used to a liner lock. I can actuate it with one hand fairly um, easily. And I like that. I like having that option with the Spyderco knife. And at the uh, price point, definitely is awesome. Um, 30 bucks, I think. $31, something like that, that I paid for it over Amazon.com. Um, really good. have pretty good experiences with them overall. You do have a good blade size. The blade size is... Let's see, uh, three and three eighths inches, and overall length is seven and three quarters. And closed, you got four and seven sixteenths. They do this weird thing on the, uh, I guess the Spyderco website, yeah, about measuring. Um, you do have the thirteen millimeter hole, um, and the eight CR thirteen MOB steel, and four ounces at weight. Sorry, I was trying to read all that off the screen instead of having to hand write it every time in a little notebook and keeping it under the tripod so uh, I apologize if that makes this video any less great overall no real problems um, other than the fact that it's, it's size it's just big um, I like that it's got the flow through design perfect love that I like the fact that you do have this tubing here to protect my lanyard hole all the way through um, let's see, I'll show you an exact example of that. Well, I say that, and the knife that I thought had the exact example didn't work out, but you can see on a Kershaw leak, I believe, where if you did put a lanyard here, you are extremely close to the blade. The blade closes, there's no protection there, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but your blade is open to your lanyard, so if your lanyard got a little loose, you didn't have a knot right here keeping it protected, over time, it'll be rubbing against the blade and cutting. On your Tenacious, you do have tubing here to protect whatever you use as a lanyard material. So that's pretty cool. I don't, like I said, I don't personally like lanyards on knives, but if I did, it's good to know it's protected. I like that you got the flow through design. It makes for very easy cleaning, and um, I'm running into a problem with that with the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. I did add this section here, um, cut out with a Dremel tool to try to add for ease of cleaning, but nothing's like a knife that comes with just the pillar construction and flow through I can blow it out and uh, it's done that's it you know the end of it really good blade shape rather large like I said I'll go ahead and compare it to your Endura lined up there um, you can see the blade shape obviously a little smaller um, a little better for EDC nice and wide though I don't know that that would necessarily be a benefit in cutting tasks I have been carrying this uh, Sogzilla. Scoot down real quick. I've been carrying this Sogzilla, and it has quite a wide blade too. So um, I don't know that it would get in my way. You do have the full flat grind, the whole length of the blade. Pretty nice. I like how it feels. Um, this knife is really it's it's one of those uh it's one of the sexy knives I think. Um, as far as and honestly, I know it's a, a simple test, but I run my finger on the back side of that blade, and if it feels really smooth and I like it, <laughs> that's what I use. I don't know why, but the Sogzilla gets it right, and my Spyderco Bird gets it right. It just feels really, really smooth, and honestly, the Spydercos are not, not as smooth as VG-10. Um, they are, but just not as smooth as this. I don't know what it is about this polished steel. This, uh... 8CR, 13MOB, blah, blah, blah. That steel, I don't know what it is. It's extremely smooth on the outside. Um, keeping an edge on it, don't have a ton of experience with it in that um, matter. Right now, I'm using a 154CM, and um, that's going okay. But with this, I don't have a ton of experience with uh, keeping an edge on it. As I do, um, I believe somebody asked about a uh, sharpening video, so I want to do the sharpening video. I'll try to get more into blade steels and uh, retention of edge and all that kind of stuff. Don't want to drag this out a ton longer. Do have G10 um, handle scales, and 
stainless steel liners nice and thick lock up right there in the center you can see a really good lock up there for that and really just a nice knife honestly I, I don't really want to carry it because I don't want to tear it up you know I mean but it does have a cheaper price point to it 30 bucks and you can honestly say looking at it it's probably not going to be a collector's item any you know one day and that's kind of where I'll buy two or three of the same knife just so I have one in good condition to add to my my personal collection and then one to carry and that's what I try to do um, you know as money allows and um, this might be one of the ones where I just suck it up and use it I did that with the uh, Kershaw Blur I just liked it so much that I didn't want to use it at all and um, finally one day I'm like you know what I'll just use it and now I can see that the, uh, the character has definitely been increased just by you know using it a couple of times and stuff like that so I think that just buy it use it I think that It'll be beneficial. I hate to ramble about silly crap like that. I know you guys are after the review and that's it, so I apologize. Um, you can move the pocket clip all four places. So, good to go there. You have a hole here. It'll go around your lanyard hole, so that's pretty cool. If you uh, do put a lanyard in and you move it to a tip-up carry, your um, pocket clip will go through your lanyard hole, through that hole in the center there. So, pretty cool. Unique design. Um, I like it. I say unique because there's a couple of things here that I haven't seen on some of the other Spider Co's, and um, especially at this price point. So really awesome. Good deal, Spider Co. I appreciate uh, you guys watching. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.